Welcome into an, a new live edition of Dispatchers answering your questions today. And I thought it would be most apropos uh, to talk a little bit about more about what happened today with all of the delays that went on throughout the uh, country NFA uh, due to an outage. Yeah, technology, love technology, but we also live and die by technology. So when it goes down, everything else goes down. So this is great because as a dispatcher, we can talk about NOTAMs because that's one of your central priorities. So to give you some background, though, this is what happened. I actually was wo uh, woken up by a text from Morgan this morning at uh, about 4 a.m. saying, uh, uh oh, F.A. pooped the bed. And I'm like, what 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 do you mean? And he goes, uh, the NOTAM, NOTAM, there's a NOTAM outage. I'm like, uh oh. So for those of you who aren't aviation dispatchers or enthusiasts or pilots or unfamiliar, basically a NOTAM is a notice to air mission, which is a piece of information for both dispatchers and pilots or irregularities at any aerodrome or airport that they may need to be noti notified about. That's why it's called notices, that they need to get notified about in order to safely conduct a flight. For example, one NOTAM could be like you see here, for example, uh, Salt Lake International Airport uh, has a runway closure, runway 16 left, 34 right. Well, guess what? If I don't know about that runway being closed, then that's a safety risk. Or for example, let's take a single runway airport, uh, San Diego, for example, on runway 927. Let's say because of a downed aircraft or um, an emergency repair, they're only conducting operations between uh, 10 and 20 Zulu on the West Coast in San Diego. Well, guess what? If I have, I have a flight that's going from Phoenix to San Diego that is flying in at 8.30 or 20.30 Zulu, and I take off, the runway's closed. What do I do now? So the NOTAM provides any anomalies or special information that we as dispatchers need to know the flight is taking to account and to take into consideration, and also for the pilots so that we're unified uh, on that route. So notices are notices, notice to air missions. It was previously called notice to air men. But the NOTAM system comprises of airports all throughout the country. So every irregularity is through big and small airports throughout the country of what is currently happening at the airport or irregularities, either work in progress for uh, construction on certain taxiways or certain, it, all, it deals with approaches, your minimums can be changed due to certain factors. So the NOTAM is an essential part of the dispatcher planning process. So when the NOTAM system went out throughout the FAA uh, late last night, that prevented us from being able to effectively plan as dispatchers and plan those routes, plan those flights, and get the information to the pilots. And it is a legal requirement that we as dispatchers must provide all abnormalities or anomalies and in route and also data center and terminal notums as well as departure notums. So that is a federal requirement. We cannot dispatch a flight without the pilots having that information, end of story. So that is why there was one, so many delays, so many cancellations because without notums that the pilots have that they've legal, legally signed, that it's an FAA requirement, end of story. No notums no takeoff period. So that's the real crux behind the issue of why there were so many delays today. As a dispatcher, for those of you who know, I'm a dispatcher and, and a lot of people who are learning more about being a dispatching, you know, the NOTAM is, is, is part of the whole process. So it can affect everything, like I said, from the taxi, taxiways to uh, runway closures, to frequencies, to uh, minimums, everything. So it's important that you as a dispatcher, when you're planning, look at all those NOTAMs because they can have a monumental effect on uh, what you're doing. In fact, 
I know of one dispatcher one time neglected to see a note him that an airport was closed. His flight got released. The airport was closed and he had to divert and declare an emergency because of that, because he neglected to notice that note him and the pilot neglected to notice it as well. So it's a critically important. It's a safety function that we as dispatchers and our pre-planning processes have to make sure. And the pilots also look over those things because when they're planning their routes, they have to look over at everything that goes into it from their departure airport to their in route, you know, in route centers from Denver center all across the nation and then to their arrival station. Now, the good news is it's back up and running, but we desperately, desperately, desperately need money. We need resources. And most importantly, I don't know that it serves any good for the current administration to criticizing airlines constantly, yet this is a government function that failed, period. End of story. And let me just say, we have the best airspace and the best air traffic controllers, dispatchers, pilots in the world here in the United States, bar none, period. End of story. And it's the level that we're trained to. But the government has to do their job and they are not. They're not providing us with the resources. They are not providing us with the technology. They continue to criticize us in, the, in our free spirit of competition, yet they continue to not fund these projects that are critical to the improvement of the air system. So the NOTAM is being one of those, the system itself, uh, it's not very high tech. It's just a list of notices. It works. But the problem is when you take something from the 60s that continues to work and try and integrate it into all the other websites and everything else in technology, you know, there's going to be some hiccups. The FAA has some chaos. They need to clean it up. I think the president could stop scoring easy points trying to pick on airlines for problems that they're having and focus on their problems at the government and, and clean things up. So it's interesting that uh, we had this today. And uh, I had a text at four from Morgan telling me about it. And then ever since then, it's been a domino effect. Now things are getting back to order, but I thought I'd go live in case anybody wanted to tune in and chat and get an explanation about why their flight was delayed, what the NOTAM system is, and how it can help. Or how I should say how it helps us as dispatchers and pilots. So I hope that gives you a better idea on what's going on. I'll save this, of course, and title it so you can watch. But just to recap, so this late last night, the NOTAM system, the Notice to Air Mission system, went out across the country for all the airports. What that means, so dispatchers who are in charge of planning a flight in partnership uh, with the pilot, they look at the NOTAMs to determine if there's going to be any contingencies needed for possible uh, runway closures, taxiway closures, uh, frequency changes, and the pilots look in partnership with that. And because we didn't have that system working, we could not determine what, if any restrictions there were or anomalies at the airports, either at your departure city or arrival city or en route. And more importantly, it is the legal requirement that the dispatcher and the pilot both be aware of any anomalies or abnormalities at those airports before they depart and have those NOTAMs provided. And since they were not provided, they could not be accessed, we could not legally dispatch a flight and it's a thing of safety. So end of story. So now it's back working, but yeah, if we do not have the NOTAMs available to us as dispatchers and planners, we cannot let a flight take off and we cannot take off. So I hope that video gives you a better idea. I'm glad you could join me today and I'll be answering questions as well online. But for now, I'll end the stream, put it up so you guys can watch it uh, and, and learn from it most importantly. So for now, it's me, Pip, signing off until next time. But I also would like to make a note, I've just re been recovering from COVID. So I apologize if I look like, or COVID-like illness, I apologize if I, I look like uh, I 
just woke up because, well, I, I'm just now finally recovering. But in the meantime, feel free to message me any questions. Enjoy the rest of my videos and have a great rest of your day. Until next time.